That's crazy to me. At 17 years old, this was a crazy move that I could have ever made. But continue watching to hear what I say. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. It's the real Nate. As you can see by the title, today I'm going to be telling you guys what made me decide to leave New York and move to a whole new state across the country. But sometimes when I think about this, I literally be like, yo. <laughs> You really did that. At 17 years old, barely knowing anyone out here, I decided to move across the country. Those of you who know me and that might watch this video, you probably don't even know why I really moved to California. A, a few of you guys asked me and so I'm like, oh, don't even worry. I'm gonna tell it all in a video. So here's the video. Finally, right? I was 17 years old. Um, I knew I had one year left to graduate high school. And the tipping point of me wanting to leave was when I had a counseling appointment and she told me that I will most likely repeat the 11th grade or I would move on to the 12th grade, but I wouldn't be able to graduate on time i was like whoa 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 i was shook because no i wasn't an a student a typical high schooler that's what i was like when she told me that i don't know why i was shocked i wasn't shocked because she told me that my grades they were like really up and down and i'm like yeah that's just how life goes when you have so many ups and downs you know so i instantly thought about what can i do that was the rest of the conversation was what can I do to allow me to graduate on time and I'm definitely not repeating the 11th grade. She was just like, honestly, it's either or. And I was just like, that's not true. Like it has to be other options. Like, what are you saying? She was pretty much useless. Not to be rude, but I only say that because she really didn't have any other answers for me, but I knew that that was not all there was. There was other options. So I had to do my own research. Research. I was thinking of I have until the summertime to figure out what I want to do before September come because in New York school starts in well, the second week of September so she told me this like right before you know summer break in June she told me this so I had July August and then September so I had three months to decide what I wanted to do I weighed so many options I was like oh let me see if there's a relative I could move school districts I was just trying to think of anything that I could do but none of that was a success the last two options i had was moving to california and or um moving to north carolina it was either those two that was the only way i was going to be able to graduate on time i was like callie if i go there that's crazy because you know a lot of people want to go there but if i get that opportunity i'm packing my bags and i'm going with north carolina i was like yeah i've been there before and um you know it's slow it's country i don't know it was just like like, eh, that was like the least option that I wanted to, you know, explore. But I was just like, let me reach out to whoever I could reach out. Now I have an older cousin out here and I barely knew her. I wanna say I knew her, but I didn't know her, you know what I'm saying? So it's like me coming out here, it's like still coming out here to pretty much nothing. I was talking to my cousin that lives in California and then next thing you know, she was like, this could be a great opportunity. And I was just like, what? Wait, this is a, this, this could be an opportunity. So we pretty much was like, okay, wait, if this could be a real opportunity, you know, I'm not gonna look back. I'm gonna take this opportunity, you know? We eventually decided in, I don't wanna say like late July, when the date, when the ticket was bought, 
listen i think i had like a week i was like oh my gosh i can't pack all of this like how i'm gonna do this how i'm gonna do that my cousin was like listen you want to start over right so you just need to bring a suitcase with your most valuable items and that's it we already signed you up for high school out here i was kind of like yo this is really happening it happened so fast too so i didn't even think i got to see many people before i left so that's kind of crazy i end up having a week left to pack i packed my most valuable things i ended up leaving the day that i was leaving it was my immediate family my parents my um siblings and my best friend this happened so fast like everything was like let's go let's go let's go and i didn't think i was gonna really like just pack up and leave but i did have other things that played a huge role in me wanting to leave new york in general um shout out to the, all the extra things that happened because if it wasn't for that and all the things that was going on at my in my life at that time then i would have never probably moved those things was like the major reasons why I wanted to leave. And then not graduating high school, if I stayed in New York on time and getting left back, that was a no-go for me. Cause I'm like, ain't no way this is happening. I do know some people that I was supposed to graduate with they didn't graduate, they graduated, but they still had to go to like summer school or they needed more credits basically. And while there's nothing wrong with that, cause you know, everybody got their own path, but I just didn't want that for me. So in my circle, I know there's people that didn't graduate high school on time or they didn't graduate high school at all. And I was not about to be repeating either or. So I was like, that also was my motivation to get up and change because I'm like, nah, I have no one to look to for any type of anything. So I'm like, no, if I don't take this opportunity to go to California, I think I'm gonna regret it. Within a week, so I got a suitcase. I've never been on a plane. So I was just like, how much can I take? Like, I didn't know that. So I got a suitcase, like a 20 pound suitcase, guys. That's not that big, 20 pounds. Imagine how much stuff I'm leaving behind. The day came to go to LaGuardia. My main immediate family was there and I left and I looked back. On the airplane, I was chilling. It didn't hit me yet. I literally just left New York and flew across the country. And I had a one way, I mean a non-stop. So it took like, what, I don't know, maybe like six to seven hours. I'm like, yo, when I think about that, it's just crazy to me. When, like, when I got here, I, I, I believe I flew in at LAX. That's like the main airport. <laughs> but yeah, so it's like when I touched down, it, I broke down. I was crying. Like what? I really just laughing. I was just like, my aunt, my aunt was there and she approached me and she was like, what's going on with you? I was like, no, I just left. I just left. I want to go back. I don't know. I didn't know about this. I was going and because i was so excited to leave and just get on the plane that scene right there was my first so you know when you're excited for doing something like that it's just like yeah but then i touched down in la it hit me like i was waiting for my luggage and i started bawling and i was just like wait did i really just do that no 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 this is not real i want to get back on that plane i was like can i go back and it was crazy and my aunt she, this is an aunt that like i didn't i knew her i knew of her but i didn't know her like she was just like trying to comfort me but she was like no don't worry about it you're here you know trying to make the make the mood up she was just like don't worry about it you're here you know you did it you did it this is a great thing and I settled down and she was like, listen, you're gonna start school in a couple days. And you know, you are going to be in the 12th grade cause you have more than enough credits to even graduate. But I still want you to, you know, finish off your, your, your senior year. I was like, what? Yo, life just was hitting me so fast because I started school in like three days. Three days. I didn't have no time to settle in. You know, a new school like this, this part was just like, I was like, it better be like what I saw on TV, the outside school. And it was like that. So everything was just like, uh, it was like nostalgia. Like, like the moment was just like, 
Oh my gosh, like I saw this on TV before on some show, you know, and here I am now going to an actual school. That was, that, it was just like, it was crazy. So a lot of people was like coming up to me, you know, talking to me. Once I started talking, they were like, you, you're not from here, where are you from? And then a lot of people would just know off the bat because my accent. Obviously, when I first came here, I had a New York accent to the Californians. Now, everyone's telling me I have an accent. And it's crazy how that works because I've been living in California since 2014. It's like I can hear the New York accent in New York. It's, everything is so crazy. Like I, can, I still can't wrap my mind around it, but I always wanted to know what I sound like to other people, you know? Like people that don't live in New York, but now I can hear it and it's like, like what does that mean? <laughs> Like people be trying to revoke my New York card, but listen, 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 listen. I'm always and forever going to be a New Yorker. I've been there like two to three times in 2020, not a great year, but I'm not going nowhere. I'm always going to be a New Yorker. Like, but yeah, so coming here, having to go straight to school and it was like, you don't even have to do the whole year. You can literally graduate in the, within one semester. And I was like, no, this is my last year. I'm just going, you know, go with the flow. Plus, like, you know, I had to make friends and stuff. So that was important to me. California is my second home. That's it. After I graduated, which was in 2015, I took a semester. Basically, I took, I think, I guess that's like six, I don't know, five to six months off. And I just work i wanted to see i didn't know what i wanted to do yet so you know i didn't know college was gonna be a thing i didn't know so i had so many questions like oh my gosh what am i gonna do but i end up taking the semester off and i end up just working and what job oh yeah i had a few you know like office jobs and just you know other side hustles and that was like cool, but I was like, okay, yeah, I gotta figure out what I wanna do with my life because this is not gonna work. <laughs> like, I just felt like, no, I need to figure it out. So I visit a nearby college, community college. I spoke to counselors, figured out that, you know, I can take a course that could help me figure out what I wanna do. So that's what I did. I took a course, it helped a lot. I thought I wanted to go into one career and I was doing, and I did so many classes for this, which was nursing, but I just decided not to pursue it anymore, which is like fine, you know, but I wish, I would have known about, you know, entrepreneurship and everything about it because had I known about that sooner, I would have been stopped working towards the nursing degree. Now I'm just trying to finish up, you know, business management degree and it's going really great so far. So I guess sometimes it really do be like that. You really have to go through something to see that that's not what you really want. In this case, it was that nursing degree versus a business management degree and becoming my own boss and entrepreneurship. I chose this one. I am happy with it. I have been learning so much good stuff and I have some interesting things that's, you know, going to take place. So I'm excited for whatever the future has to in store for me. I truly do not regret moving from New York. I would highly recommend it to anybody I know that ever thought about leaving New York. If you thought about it, you should probably, you know, move on that thought because one thing about it is so far in my life, I've been able to achieve a lot of little goals, you know? And I just feel like if I was still in New York, I would have never been able to do that. This move from New York to Cali has been the best one of the best decisions I have made in my life so far. New York is always going to be my first home, forever home. Like I said, all my family is there, friends, loved ones, you know? And um, even in California now, it's my second home. I've built a home of, I still have family, friends, you know, who I love daily. So it's like, I get the best of both coasts. <laughs> 
I love to be able to brag about that because not a lot of people get to, you know, experience New York, growing up there, knowing the lifestyle, the, the everything is just so different. And then coming to California, which everybody in New York want to visit one way. And the same thing with California. It's like they all want to go to New York. Because, you know, these two states are just the best states. New York and California is the best two states in the 50 states. Period. So I really, really love my decision moving out at 17 to a whole new state and just changing my life for the better. Literally the best decision I've ever made. I would highly recommend to anybody. If you have the opportunity, take it. There's just so many things that, you know, I could say. If you guys ever want me to do a pros and cons or LA versus New York, let me know because I can do that video. Hopefully by the summertime if all is well and everything is safe then yeah I will see my family again but if you guys enjoyed this go ahead and give me a thumbs up and if you're thinking about moving to LA let me know <laughs> and I, especially if I know you know you thank you guys for watching this video stay tuned for my next one bye